Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Spare Parts, and today we'll be reviewing a Star Wars The Clone Wars set, set number 75214, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter from The Clone Wars, like I said. And this set retailed for $20, and it came with 247 pieces and two minifigures, one being R2-D2. Now, adjusted for inflation from 2018, the set would retail probably for about $25, so let's see if it's worth it. All right, so here are the first looks at the set. As you can see, here is the Starfighter, which is pretty much what we see in the Clone Wars show. And there are two minifigures, one being R2-D2, of course, and the other one being Anakin. So basically what we usually get in a Starfighter set that has Anakin's name in the title, but I think it would be cool to eventually get an extra figure in one of these sets instead of just Anakin and R2-D2. Like, Recently, with like Obi Wan Starfighter, they released uh, Kim and Owen in that set. Even I guess that set was thirty dollars, but still, it'd be cool to get an extra figure for one of these sets eventually. So let's look at the play features of the set. So first, we'll do the minifigure play features. So, as with most starship sets, you can put your minifigure in the cockpit right here. So you have to open this up, and then you put Anakin in there. It is a four stud cockpit so it is kind of difficult to get him out sometimes but i think it works he stays in there he's not going to fall out so that's good and then you close it up and there you go you have anakin in his starship now just like the last anakin starship i reviewed it also has a place for his lightsaber now this one is um, a little less practical to say the least um if you turn it upside down there's a little clip right there and then you snap his lightsaber onto it like this. So it just kind of goes on the bottom like that. I, I, it's cool, I'm, I guess. It's not very accurate, but it, it works. And for R2-D2, because, you know, R2-D2 flies in the ship too, this time he's in the center. So just like the last time, we got to pop off his head. Oh, that didn't sound good. I hope I did not damage that. So then you pop his body in there, and here I'll show you. There's a little center stud right here. So he's only being attached by one stud, but it's good because it, it is secure still and you can get him out easily. So you just pop his body in there. And then you can take his head, put it forward so it looks cool. So he's not going to fall out either. Like, yeah, he's not going anywhere. So he's going to stay in there. And there are some stud shooters right here, as you can see. I. Hope I don't need to demonstrate those. You probably understand how stud shooters work by now. And another cool play feature is it does have landing gear, which is super cool. Very flimsy landing gear though. It's this like black little foot thing. And it's actually, I found it's really flimsy and hard to find out like which, which way to put it so it's level. I don't know, I've had trouble with my landing gear, but it does work. It's a little flimsy, like it might fall over, but I think it looks kind of cool if looking at it from above here. It looks like it's kind of floating, which I really like. And I think it's a cool detail. I'm glad they used landing gear for that. And yeah, that's kind of all the play features this set has, except for engines, of course. Not really a play feature, but you can use it as that. So yeah, let's take a look at unique stickers and prints. So for stickers, there are a lot of stickers in this set. I was surprised at how big the sticker sheet was for such a small set. But the most obvious stickers are these two right here, which make up details on the striping of the ship. Now, I don't know if anybody else has had this problem. I mean, these stickers are cool. It's just they peel so easily. Like, look at this. My sticker is has a hole right here and it's peeling. And even this one at the top is peeling. I mean, it might just be me not taking care of my set <laughs> very well, but I wonder if anyone else has had that problem. It's it's something I've had a problem with, with this set, but I have no idea if that's me or the set. So anyway, another sticker is it has the Republic logo right here on the side. That is a sticker. Unfortunately, it's a sticker, but I guess they had to do that to keep costs down. And then another, there's another Republic logo up here. There's two of them on each side. And this is also a sticker. There are a lot of stickers on this set, but I like them because they make it more detailed. Like these, this is all stickers, it's kind of crazy. And I think the only print on the set is there is a, I'm not sure if it's unique, but there is a control panel right here for him to operate the ship with. Super cool, it has like a targeting pad on it. 
I think that's a really cool print for the set. But yeah, um, lots of stickers. All right, now I'm gonna talk about accuracy to the show. Cause this is a Clone Wars set and we can't base it on the movies because it wouldn't work. Cause this is a Clone Wars set. So I have watched the Clone Wars, but it was a long time ago. So I'll try to base it on what I remember. So out of what I remember, I'm pretty sure this is the correct shaping for the ship. I remember it being much sleeker than the other model that we looked at because that was the episode three set. This is a Clone Wars set. And I think this is pretty accurate, except for the engine color. I don't think it was green. I'm not sure. It, it just, this color looks so weird to me. It just, it's like dirty green. I don't know. It looks like what old Lego would look like if they were trying to make a green color. I don't know. It doesn't work for me. I don't know if that's an accuracy thing or just like a color I don't like, but I think overall this is really accurate to what we see. Now it's time for the minifigures. Our first minifigure is Anakin Skywalker. And I really like this Anakin because unlike the last one we looked at, this one has actual good like printing. I don't know if you can see it, but there is robe printing, not just black squares like there were in the last one. The last Anakin had just had like, yeah, black squares as excuses for robes. And I think this one looks a lot better because it actually has robe printing. Anyway, on the back, we have his hairpiece, which is very nice. I think they've used this one for a while. And they have more printing. I think this is just how he looks in the Clone Wars show. And then for head heads, he does have the headpiece thing to communicate with, which is nice. I'm glad they still kept that. And I really like his back face because it kind of makes, you can see underneath his eyes, there's like the bags. So it kind of shows his transition to the dark side by his eyes just getting all messed up. I think it's kind of a cool Easter egg. I'm, I like this Anakin better than the last Anakin because of, you know, minor details. All right, guys, this next minifigure is super exclusive to the set. You'll never find him in another set. Just kidding. It's an R2-D2. So yeah, this is just a normal R2-D2. Nothing really special about him. He has no back printing or anything. Same molds that we've had for a long time now. Although, one thing I noticed about him is, I don't know if anyone else has seen this, but other R2-D2s at the time, if you look really closely at their head piece, you can see the one on the right has the really bigger like projection thing, and the one with the Starship has a really small one which I think I like a lot that it's smaller on this one because with this one, it just looks weird. Like, why is it, is it supposed to make it look 3D? I think it just looks oversized. And with this R2-D2, I think it looks more accurate and looks cleaner, less messy. So, I mean, there is something cool about this R2-D2. All right, are there any loose parts in this set or sets that would fall off while you were playing with it? I say no, which is very surprising to me now that I think about it, because this set, it looks like it would have a bunch of loose parts, especially on the end here. I'm sure some of you thought that this looks really loose, but it's not. This is held on really tight. It will not fall off. I don't, I mean, maybe if you punched it or something, but I don't think it's going to fall off. And another spot that looks loose, but isn't loose is this landing gear piece. Now I, here, I'll try to pull it off right now. It's really hard to pull off. It, it's not gonna fall off. It's really good. I'm surprised they were able to do that. Just really basic, but it, it's, I'm glad they made it so it wouldn't fall off. So no loose parts in the set. All right, it's price per piece time. So when it retailed in 2018, the price per piece, cause it costed $20 and 247 pieces, it would have been eight cents per piece, which is a good deal. That is better than 10 cents a piece, so it is better than average and would be considered a good deal. Nowadays, 2023, adjusted for inflation, that $20 becomes $25, and the new price per piece is around 10 cents. So that is average for a Lego set. And I think this set is pretty good, so I think that is still a good deal. So price per piece, it's good. You should still buy it if you can get it for $25, which you probably won't be able to, but just saying. So my final opinion of the set is, I think I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, just because there are some parts that I don't like very much, like the engine color and um, all the stickers, even though it's cool to get so much detail, like 
I don't even want to count how many stickers are in this set. It's just kind of crazy and my stickers are peeling, but I can't blame the set for that. That could just be me not taking care of the set well. But other than that, I think the minifigures are great, even though we could have used one more in such a cheap set. It actually wouldn't make sense to give us one more. It just would be cool. But the build is awesome. It looks great. So overall, 8 out of 10 set. It's a good set. I, I recommend it. So there you have it, guys. That's my review of set number 75214, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. If you feel like it, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.